Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot um, of anything that's on your screen, on your computer, um, and then I'm going to show you how to save it and edit it and stuff like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is what I've done here is I've opened up my computer. So I've just gone down to the start menu, pressed on computer, and this is what's come up. Now what I'm going to do is take a simple screenshot of this. So all I have to do is press print screen on my keyboard. Now it might be abbreviated, the button or something like that. Um, it might say PRNT um, SCRN or something like that. Um, and it's usually up near the right hand corner of a keyboard whether you've got a laptop or a keyboard it doesn't matter it'll be up there somewhere so press on that and then we're going to go down and we're going to open that paint program that everyone has now I've got a quick launch um, button for the paint program but if you haven't now it will be um, in all programs in the start menu for starters sorry forgot to mention that um, and then we're going to go to accessories now this will be the same as XP it'll be in accessories okay and then notepad okay I mean sorry paint right so press on that and the program will open up now we pressed print screen before now what we're going to do is go to the edit Oh, it didn't come. Now, if that doesn't let you paste, that means that I didn't get the actual screenshot. So what I'm going to do is go back and get it, okay? So I'll just get rid of that. Now I'll press print screen. And we'll open up paint again. And we'll go up to the edit menu again. And this time, see how paste is available? That means I did get a screenshot. So now I'm going to press paste. Okay, so what it did is it took a picture of the whole screen, not just that box. It took a picture of the whole screen. Now that's because I um, actually just hit print screen. Okay, now um, I'd probably have to edit that a fair bit um, to make it good. So what I'm going to do is close that. I'm not going to save it or anything. I'm going to close that one. And I'm going to say, don't save. Right, now I'm back here again. Now what I want to do, I want to click on this screen. So we're in this screen. Okay. Now what I want to do is press the ALT key and then print screen. And now I'm going to go back and open up a notepad. I mean, sorry, a paint. Okay. And we're going to go to the edit menu and press paste. Now this time, it's only given me the box that I was using. Okay. Now that means that I don't have to edit anything, which is great. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is save it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go save. And it's going to come up with a box. It automatically is going to go to my pictures or pictures. Depends whether you're working with XP or not. Um, now this is a different thing. With um, Vista it saves it as a JPEG. Um, so in Windows XP you'll have to scroll down here to make it save it as a JPEG because it usually saves it as a bitmap which is not compatible with certain programs okay so we'll go for the JPEG right and we'll get in here leave that dot JPEG there because that says what kind of file it is and we're just going to rename it Oops, sorry about that my mouse just ran away we're just going to rename it to my computer and then press save. Right, now it's saved. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, we can close this because we don't need it any longer. 
Now what I'm going to do is go and find that picture that I just saved. So we're going to go to pictures from the start menu and I called it my computer JPEG. There we go. There it is there. Now let's click on it and open it. Right. So now it's come up in Windows Photo Gallery. Now I'm using um, uh, what is it? Windows Vista Home Premium. So what that does is it lets you edit the picture. If you're in um, Windows XP, it doesn't come with this facility. Okay, so here's the picture that I saved. Right, in Windows XP, there's no problem with saving it, but it doesn't give you all these options as well. So what we're going to do is press Fix. And we're going to go over to the right here. And it's got some options here. Now, I'm just going to show you how to crop the picture. So what it does is it's got these... Um, lines here we have to stretch to see where we want to go to okay so let's chop that bit out and chop that menu out and bring it down there and bring that across a bit to there and maybe bring this down so we haven't chopped off half of that drive there okay now let's go over here and say apply Okay, so this is it now. We've chopped it down. Now we don't have to save it or anything. We can just simply close it. Okay, and it'll be overwritten. Right, so now when I go to my pictures and open up the My Computer JPEG, it's changed into what I just edited to. Okay. Right. Stop that close that. Um, I'm going to show you something else now. I'm going to show you how to edit it in paint. So just say we open up paint again and we want to get that picture back that we just made. So we'll, we don't want to paste be, oh, because we've already edited it. We want to go and open the picture and it's in the picture folder and it's called my computer JPEG open it up and here it is here now this is another little trick um, just to if you're trying to show what someone something you can press on this brush and maybe a red one or a blue one or something like that and um, if you're trying to explain something you can draw a couple of little directions on here or you know circle that or whatever that's what I do to show people how to do stuff okay so don't go there alright um, thanks for listening I hope this helps